Happy Friday, you guys. Thanks for watching. Let us know how you do in the comments. It is Friday. Warm up, two rounds, 30 seconds each. Single unders. Round one, we'll just do single unders. Try to keep your grip loose. Nope. I'm messing up this yeah. entire video. I'll She'll get it. it. Here we go. Keep a loose grip on the bars. Can be a grippy workout, so don't over squeeze the handle. Then active Samson stretches. Fingers interlaced overhead. Long lunge forward. Here we go. What if this was 3D? This is all. <laughs> this is all happening because it's Friday the 13th. Oh, but is we're it? We're recording these. No, today. Oh man. Today, right now. Can we say that? Yep. And uh, next, lateral squats. Feet twice as wide as the shoulders. You're gonna do a lateral squat. She's trying to. Uh, Carly's gonna drive her squatting knee out so it stays a little wider than the feet. Try and get the hip below parallel. Right into inchworm push-ups. Push-up position or uh, yeah, forward fold. Slowly inching the hands forward, lowering the whole body as a plank, and then walking back. And then air squats. One of the thing about three points of contact in the foot, the big toe, the outside toe, and the heel. All three should be pushing into the ground for the whole range of motion on your squat. After your two rounds of the warm up, overhead squat barbell warm up, links at the top. Then we'll move over to a wall and we'll do an overhead stretch on the wall. Have the hands a little bit wider than the shoulders, about eye level and then widen up the hips or widen up the feet and then lower the chest down through the arms you can actively push the chest down into the or towards the floor to stretch out the shoulders you have one minute there and then we'll do a barbell ankle stretch so grab a unloaded or light barbell which one are we going for this one so i usually try to set up a little narrower than my squat stance toes pointed more forward than I would be uh, for an air squat and then place that barbell on the uh, lower thigh just above the knee lean forward stretch out the ankles you can gently rock side to side or forward and back notice Carly's knee pushes in front of the toe uh, building up that ankle flexibility we're gonna do some Olympic weightlifting on Friday if you enjoy Olympic weightlifting and you're in Houston come check out coach Carly's Olympic weightlifting class Yep. Okay, we'll have 15 minutes to build to a heavy hang squat snatch. So Carly's gonna take a wide grip on the bar. Even when we're lifting the bar, uh, make sure you're in a tight brace position. We don't wanna lift that bar uh, with a rounded back. Stand up tall, deep breath in, and then we're gonna do a hang squat snatch. So we have a couple options here. Carly's doing a hang squat snatch hang squat snatch from just above the knee. She pushes her hips back, pushes her shoulders forward, and then brings the barbell back into the hips, aggressively jumps and pulls underneath the bar, receiving it in that full squat. You can also do these from the hip position, come up a little bit higher. So if you feel more comfortable, keep the bar in the hip crease. The upper body dips in a vertical position, so her shoulders do not come forward in that dip and jumps up and right under the bar. Oh boy, it's okay. So play around with whichever position feels best for you. 15 minutes building to a heavy single. Yep. The workout, we'll do some more hang squat snatches, 95 for guys, 65 for ladies. Let's pick a weight where we can do the nine reps in the workout in one or two sets. So it should be relatively light. Okay, the workout is 12 minutes, as many rounds as possible of 25 double unders. Let's pick a quantity we can complete in 30 seconds, so feel free to scale down if needed. And like we mentioned earlier, keep a loose grip on the handle. Don't over squeeze and burn out your grip. Because then we have nine toes to bar. Make sure you initiate your first rep with a big pull of the chest forward and then aggressively push the shoulders back as the feet come up to make contact with the bar. Then another set of 25 double unders. So fast, you can't see the rope. Some people do that in the open, you know that? 
They recorded videos so far away from the camera. They just pretended they were jump roping. And then nine hang squat snatches. So if these are light enough, you can cycle them where the bar uh, catches right in the hip crease and you go right back up into your next rep, stand up, back to the hips, jumping up into the bar as the bar comes down, or feel free to rest and brace in between each rep. So stop in the hang, deep breath, lower to above the knee, and then come back up. Excellent. The home gym variation today is gonna to be a 12 minute AMRAP of 50 double unders, or a number that you can complete within a minute, followed by 30 ab mat sit-ups or regular sit-ups. You can keep your knees in this butterfly position or feet flat on the ground, knees up. We're looking to finish with the um, shoulders above the hips and sitting up tall. Show some reps where at the top you're just kind of cr crouched over, not engaged. So we don't want to finish there. We want to keep that active midline at the top of each rep, sit up tall to finish your sit-up. And then 10 single arm devil presses. You can either do 10 on one arm each round and then alternate every round or do five and five. So one hand on the dumbbell, one hand on the floor. You're gonna jump your hips up like a burpee, make sure the back is straight, and then swing the dumbbell from the hips to overhead. Good job, Carly. Friday's body armor is gonna be, not for time, 800 meter double dumbbell farmer's carry. Let's pick a weight where we can perform at least 100 meters unbroken at a time. We're gonna keep the dumbbells at the sides or you can use kettlebells. Don't let the shoulders droop down, sag down. Show, show, show one where you, uh, yeah. We don't wanna be there. I know you can keep holding on, but let's try to keep engaged at the top of each uh, step. So. The debate of the week, Dennis. What is it? Can you run on farmer's carry or brisk walk or is it supposed to be a walk? It's supposed to be a walk. The goal is to build up your grip strength and uh, midline stability. If you're in a CrossFit competition and you're allowed to, should you run? Yes. Absolutely. But if you're training, uh, do it right and walk.